Hi, I'm Trish Lim. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Woven. I'm Christian Sanose. I'm a UX consultant, UX designer for the last 12 years. Hi, I'm Patch Dulay. I'm the founder and CEO of The Spark Project. Woven is a social enterprise that aims to uplift the lives of our local craftsmen and women. We work directly with communities. Our aim is to craft greater opportunities for our local craftsmen and women and bring increased value to their lives, to their work, and their products. I have a consultancy that helps businesses figure out their problems by focusing on their users. Essentially, we help them out build their products, their websites, applications, and um, yeah, like we do this whole process and hopefully um, it goes well. <laughs> The Spark Project is a crowdfunding website. It's also a startup community. We aim to enable Filipino creativity and entrepreneurship. We do it through crowdfunding, where we pool small amounts of money from a large number of individuals, or what we call the crowd, to be able to fund um, a startup or a venture of these entrepreneurs. Filipino potential is all about having the talent. We have so much. We have so much skills, so much talent, so much capabilities. But, you know, a lot of it is still untapped. When you say Filipino potential, you have so much, but, you know, there's still also so much that you can do. When it comes to Filipino potential, I'd say it's untapped. Uh, Filipinos have so much talent, they have so much skill. Like, you'd see them everywhere in the world when it comes to tech, when it comes to creativity. But I feel like they have all the ingredients. They just need the recipe or their own recipe to bring everything together. I feel like Filipinos are very talented people and they are untapped. Um, there are a lot of talented Filipinos out there that's just waiting for an opportunity to get their work out there. For years, I worked as a creative. So I wrote, I photographed, and I painted for a living. And um, when you live like that, you're always continuously searching for create, for inspiration, for creativity. What I found, like also from traveling around the Philippines, is that you find it in the people and the places, the people you talk to and the places that you stay with. It's more of seeing other people succeed, really, like other people in different industries, seeing them figure things out, fail, and then succeed, and then how they did it. And trying to apply that to my own process or like put my own spin to it um, and put my own personality to whatever they did, um, it keeps me going. Traveling and exploring new things, so maybe traveling locally or traveling abroad, it allows me to open my perspective on things and discover new things that I am not familiar with. And through that, um, it really sparks that creativity in me. The most important part of uh, the journey is that you surround yourself with people who are like-minded, who have the same passions, who believe in your advocacy. I think it's important for entrepreneurs to be un uncomfortable, basically. Like, have that discomfort. A lot of people try to, you know, overlook small things, right? And not a lot of people know that, you know, there is value in starting small. I'm looking forward to meeting all uh, different people from different walks of life. So I'm also interested to learn about their journey as entrepreneurs, where they are now at the beginning, at the middle. Meeting people from the audience, like why they came to Spark, what, what made them go there. Like getting to know more people like, or even the organizers. Educating people with what crowdfunding is all about. So helping them see the potential and the value of uh, using the crowd to be able to spark something. I'm Trish Lim. I'm Christian Sanose. I'm Patch Dulay. And we are. And we are. We are alike.